Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus said, be holy as your heavenly Father is holy. St. Paul in his letter to the Thessalonians says, this is the will of your heavenly Father, your sanctification. Mother Teresa said, holiness is not the privilege of the few, but it is the duty of all. Jose Escobar Balaguer says that the biggest crisis in the world is the lack of saints. Today, January 4th, at the beginning of the new year, we celebrate the first American-born saint. And her name is, here's a saint's card, her name is Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton. Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton. Very interesting saint. <coughs> She was born two years before the American Revolution, 1774. She was from New York. She was brought up and raised in a very noble family, an Episcopalian family. She married a very wealthy businessman, William Bailey Seton. She had her children, but her husband lost a lot of money in his business, and then he got very sick. He traveled to Italy so that he might get um, get better because of the better weather there in Italy, but he got even sicker, and he died when he was relatively young, leaving Elizabeth as a widow with, uh, with several children. She's converted to Catholicism, and this made many of her family members and friends very angry at her, seeing her almost as if she was a betrayer. And not only that, but she, she forms a group of women to help out <coughs> poor uh, orphan girls, and she founds the first American religious order, the Sisters of Charity. She experiences death. One of her daughters, when she's in the religious community, actually dies. And she experiences a lot of suffering in many ways. She sets up schools, orphanages. She, uh, she sets up Catholic schools with St. John Neumann, who we celebrate tomorrow. And when she's only 46 years of age, Elizabeth Seton dies. So she was wife and mother and widow and foundress, and especially she was a great saint. So she was canonized by Pope Paul VI in 1975, the first American-born saint. So let's turn to this great saint and ask for our families, that you would pray for us, for our religious orders, that you would pray for that. But especially let's pray that now in the United States where there's so many problems in education, so many problems in the modern educational system, that through the prayers of this great saint, that those who are involved in education, be it public schools or Catholic schools or parochial schools, that like this great saint, teachers would try to transmit the fullness of the truth, and never forget that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. <clears throat> so may Almighty God bless all of you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.